Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice search tool you could use for free called Flow Launcher. So it'll help you search for just about anything. Uh, files, folders, programs, even stuff online. So once you download and run the file, uh, you might get a message from Windows saying, we don't know who this publisher is, do you want to go ahead and run it? So of course it's up to you to decide if you want to trust it or not, but it seems like it's okay. And then it'll be running down here in your system tray, and there's also an option to have it launch at the startup too so you don't have to reopen it every time so the way it works you just press alt space bar for the shortcut key and it'll bring up a search box in the middle of your screen and you can adjust this position as well so let's say we're going to search for hawaii you could do a google search it found some pictures found a folder found a file found some word documents and then from there you could right click on either one of them Open the containing folder, add to quick access, copy the pass. There's some other options here. And if you hit escape, that'll take you back to your search results. And then if you want to open one, you just need to click on it. And now you have it open. You'll notice the box disappears once you click off of it. But if you press alt space bar again, it brings it back up with that same search. And if you want to have it always be shown, you could go to the options here by right clicking on it go to the settings and then this one here hide flow launcher when focus is lost if you turn that off now if we do it now if we click off it it's still there but just keep in mind it's going to be in front of your other windows but you could press alt spacebar again to close it and then alt spacebar will bring it back up with the last search so i'm going to turn that option back on because i like how it goes away see how it's in the way right there So you can, here's some other options here. There's tons of options, which I'm not going to go through, but you can check them out. Here's to start it at startup. Hide flow launcher at startup. Hide the tray icon if you want to do that. Here's the position. Center is the default. Some updates. And there's additional plugins if you want to have this work too. So it'll search your bookmarks. Uh, you could do calculations with it. Even kill running processes, search for programs. So all these options are turned on. And you have a plugin store for more plugins, some appearance options. Uh, if you want to change your hotkey, you could do it from here. And then this stuff you probably don't need to worry about. Okay, so let's do another search. So if you wipe out this one here, let's say Word. You can see we have Word, WordPad, search for Word online. Uh, some registry files with Word in the title, the Word icon, a JavaScript file with Word. And let's say if we do Adobe, you could open Adobe Acrobat, search for Adobe, and here's some other Adobe stuff. And if you did something really vague like Windows, you have a bunch of Windows apps you could run here, search, and there's a bunch of other files with the word Windows in it, like so. Okay, so I will put a link in the description for Flow Launcher. They have an installer version and they also have the portable version. So I'm running the portable version so there was nothing to install. Just be aware with the portable version, you're going to have to check that option to load at startup if you want to do it. Otherwise, you'll just have to go back to uh, your files where you downloaded it and run it manually. Then it'll be running down here in your system tray until you uh, reboot next time. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.